All right, so here's how to set up the Yoast SEO plugin. So um, there's a lot to this. Pay attention, take some notes. Uh, it takes a bit to go through all the settings, so we'll try to cover it all. Um, first off your dashboard, there's some good notices here. We're not gonna pay attention to those yet because we got a lot of setups, settings to change still. The features tab, I leave all these default. Um, you don't need to mess with that. Webmaster tools, we will come back to. Definitely wanna get webmaster tools set up, um, especially Google, Search Console, and Bing, um, potentially Beidou or Yandex. Uh, let's jump over to search appearance because where a lot of the easy settings are. So first off, choose your, se your title separator. Now, when you're choosing a title separator, uh, they give you a lot of options. You have to take into account the pixel size of each one of these because the bigger the separator is, the less space for other characters there are. So I'm personally a fan of the smallest one that's on this list, which is this one. Um, least amount of pixels taken when used and looks nice, little dot, it looks good. Um, set your type of uh, website to company or a person. In this case, it is a company. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the company name and then company logo. Go ahead and upload that. Ugh, nasty T pictures. Um, there's his logo, use image, good to go there. You don't have to save as these are all loaded on one save, on one button, so you can just keep on moving through. So content types, jump over here. So some of my favorite settings here. On posts, I like to show the date and the snippet preview. Now this does not change anything with how your search results are displayed. It only changes how it shows up when you're looking at a post in here. Let's show you right now. So if you scroll down on your post, right now you don't see a date anywhere right here. If I took, well, I did turn that on, now I hit save, refresh this page. You'll see now the date shows up right there. Now this does not mean, again, that this guarantees the date will show up in Google search results. It's just regarding the snippet preview. Um, if it is a blog post, there's a probabil high probability that it'll show in the search results. So that's why I like to turn on for that. Um, the meta description by default, there's nothing here because you're intended to put your excerpt in, you manually enter your excerpt on every post and page. Um, but to shortcut that, in case I haven't entered it, I always like to use percent, percent. Actually, if you do percent, you can scroll through the options here. Um, but percent, percent, excerpt, percent, percent. So that grabs the WordPress excerpt, which by default is the, if you haven't said anything, it's the first, uh, X amount of words, I don't know the exact number, or you can set it here. So that's good, You can it'll leave, by default it'll take that or that, and then ultimately what you should be doing on every post is writing the excerpt in yourself right here. But in case you haven't done that, at least you have something set for the meta description on every page by plugging an excerpt. Every post type that you have on your website will show up here, so you'll have to have, handle each one of them differently. Um, so when you go into the pages, you can see here, I'm not gonna turn on the date snippet because I don't care and I don't think my date will ever show up on my actual pages, but I am gonna do the same trick to the excerpt here. So I'm gonna plug in percent, percent, excerpt, percent, percent. So now by default, if I haven't typed in anything else, at least I'll have something plugged in for the excerpt, which is something, something is better than nothing, obviously. Services, um, for this site, another custom post type they have is services. It's handled very much like a page, no dates, but I am gonna do the same hack here, percent, percent, excerpt, percent, percent. Cool, so those are how to handle post types and content types. Now you can get some more advanced ones. Sometimes they'll have an archive section here as well um, that you'll wanna add more information into, but um, that's the default. That's pretty much standard on most websites. Jumping over to the media tab, he recommends this to be yes. It should be set to yes already. Have it set to yes. Taxonomies. So here, I like to tweak these a little bit. I don't necessarily care for the word archives, so lots of times I'll take it out. That's a personal preference. Meta description here is a little bit different because it's there is no excerpt on the page um, unless you've actually typed in words. Even there, there, there's no excerpt allowed in a taxonomy scenario. So you either have to set your description on the individual categories themselves or you can play in a default. I like to play in a default and then override it at the, at the uh, category level later. I do that by writing a sentence that incorporates the term title so that it's a unique title on every category. So this would be something like, um, these are the posts related to percent percent term, term title, that's what I want. These are the posts related to term title on our blog. 
now every category will have this meta description plugged in it will replace that with the actual category name and it'll look a little bit better same goes for tags so if I just copy this here that works out well formats these are a WordPress thing nobody really uses these anymore they're just on by default so I don't worry about those now category URLs if this is a brand new site and you have not been indexed and have a ton of search rankings and all that stuff I like to turn off the category prefix what this does is every category by default comes with this slash category in front of it not particularly useful because I, I love my category pages I use them like a Wikipedia page and I recommend you do the same so having that category in there doesn't doesn't help me I want it to say you know for my case slash SEO is the category I don't have the word category in there so I remove them um, it's a it's less you want to keep your URLs nice and tight and concise the word category isn't particularly useful so that's why I take it out now if you have a site that's been up for a while and you rely on your search rankings already leave that in there leave it set to keep don't mess with it archives now if you have a single author archive then it does not make sense to have an author art or if you have a single author blog then it does not make sense to have an author archive so I turn this off on most websites it's less pages less bloat for the search engines they respect you more it's better in the long run so if you unless you have a bunch of authors writing to your site turn off the author archives same goes with the date archives this I just find not very valuable these days and um, date archives aren't browsed in the way they were before so I like to turn off my date archives entirely special pages I leave these as set as they are um, you can tweak what the search pages look like and the 404 pages as well but I just leave those as they are breadcrumbs I'm gonna turn these on we'll come back to this later um, breadcrumbs great some personal preferences I like to bold the last page for posts I like to show the category and for pages I don't show anything um, we'll come back to this article later to show you how to implement those and then last but not least the RSS feed this will appear in the bottom of your RSS feed some people get confused when they see this in their RSS feed if you rely on your RSS feed then um, you might want to tweak this the reason it's here is to prevent scraping of your RSS feed and republishing the other sites so at least you have a link back to your site on every single one so um, I don't use my RSS feed so I don't necessarily pay attention to that too often but that is what that's for so hitting save that's the majority of the default settings that you need to worry about I'm not gonna worry about search console this was actually deprecated not too long ago they're working on a new fix for that so at this time as of September 6 2019 it is not a functioning portion of the website for social uh, I've got a couple different possibilities here enter your links these are the links that show up when you search for a company on Google so if I typed in lasting smiles hopefully Google would return a little knowledge box on the right and it would have links to my social profiles underneath it these are the only ones this client wanted in uh, to include so that's why that's only showing those two um, I do enable the open graph leave that on you can get an app ID it's not required but that helps and if you wanted to set a default image you can I don't necessarily do that um, for when you share things to the socials it'll have a default image if there isn't one already um, enable the Twitter card summary card with language is cool or with large image is cool Pinterest if you're using Pinterest then definitely confirm your website connect that up Google Plus is pretty much dead but there is still a possibility that there's some value to having it connected to your page somehow I don't necessarily care about Google Plus so whatever um, on the tools page couple quick settings here so the link counter before I clicked the button that said count your links so you click that it counts all the links it's really really good the other one is analyze your content which is a really really good one as well um, you'll want to run that at the end of all this I'll come back um, import and export if you have settings from another blog you can import those into here the trick is that it actually brings over the exact words so if you've typed in the business name or the business URLs or any of that then those will be brought over so you got to watch out for that bulk editor is pretty cool um, you can change things on the fly uh, so these are the these are the titles you can type right in new ones and then the descriptions as well so you can type those right in um, go ahead and click analyze the content that's pretty much the extent of it and there's only two so no big deal on this one good job you've optimized your linking suggestions so let's go last thing I'll show you is a premium feature so we use the premium plugin for Yoast these 301 redirects are very very handy so I recommend uh, I recommend it for that reason uh, allows you to really manage your redirects well used to be connected to search console but since that went away now it's a little bit disconnected but still great so those are the basic settings for setting up your Yoast plugin. Um, definitely want to do that on every website you got.